Hello, hello, Sylvia. Good evening. Hello. I cannot hear you. Hello, teacher. Hi, Sylvia. Look, how good that you connected. Qué bueno que se me conectó. I was... Eh... Can you hear me? ¿Puedo escucharme? Yes, I hear you. Okay, Silvia, in the platform, the first section, la primera sección, no tengo con que solamente completó el 50%. Check it out, and if you have any questions, you can contact me, okay? Revísela, y si tiene alguna pregunta, puede contactarme. You got my phone number, right? Tiene mi número de teléfono, ¿verdad? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. Please, take... But I have a problem with my cell, teacher. Okay. Uh, text me later and I, I will install me. Okay. Bueno, si puede escribirme luego, este, nos comunicamos y yo le explico cómo está la situación. ¿Eh? Okay. Okay. The same as Tamara. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Tamara, I need to ask you a favor. Necesito un favor tuyo, please. Uh, on, on your first time after the class, text me privately. Me escribe en privado, por favor. Okay. I need to talk to you about some little details. Okay? Don't the platform. Worry. Yes, the platform. The platform. But don't worry. We can solve it. We are on time. Estamos a tiempo. Podemos avanzar y arreglarlo. Okay? Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. And I'm here to help you guys. Estoy acá para ayudarles. The situation is this. Look, uh, listening to uh, Basilia and Ronaldo. Uh, well, I will talk about this later. Voy a hablar después cuando estemos todos. Let's see. Tamara, hello. How are you? How was your day? Tell me. Um, my day a uh, little better yesterday. Better than yesterday. ¿Qué ayer? Uh, de ayer. De yesterday. Okay, let me explain you something. We have in English, look in the chat, I'm going to text in the chat. We have that, that is, quiere decir eso, esa, right? But it also means que in an affirmative sentence, okay? That. That. Quiere decir que en una obra afirmativa. We also have what means que in a question, okay? Okay. And we also have then, then means que in comparison. Then is que en comparaciones, like, uh, like this, look. Uh, I like this cell phone more than this one. I like this more than this one. Me gusta okay. más este que. Okay? Yes. So, when you got comparisons, then means que. Cuando estamos comparando para decir el que, me gusta este más que. El otro is then. Okay? Then. Okay. Well, so today was better than yesterday. That's good. That's excellent. Excellent. Well, welcome to the class, Tamara. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Basilia, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How I'm are fine. you today? Excellent, excellent. Basilia, congratulations. I was checking your grade. Estaba revisando tus notas. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You got 100%. The same goes for uh, Karen. Also, she didn't even do the midterm already. I am his midterm. Excellent, the same yes. as Basilia. That's great, that's great. 
So, Vasilia, tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Um, my day, I was. My day was. My day was good, and I. I how's how's work? Work. Okay. I have a work uh, in the afternoon raining. Oh, really? It rained in the afternoon? Yes, in the afternoon rain. It rained. It's, it's rain. It's raining. And then I cook. Cook? Okay. Tell me, what was there for dinner? Um, Listen to the question. What was there for dinner? I was there was there there was there was um vegetable uh, boil okay boil vegetable and okay. bean excellent and tor tortillas tortillas good excellent a little bit healthy saludable mm -hmm. yes Mm. And my tongue and the my song uh, eat eight eight oh, eight 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 uh, bread bread and eggs bread and eggs okay. pan con huevo what do That's you say cool pan con yeah huevo. oh Stuffed, stuffed. Realmente estaba relleno, right? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Stuffed. Bread stuffed with eggs. Okay. Bread, bread stuffed with eggs. Stuffed mean relleno. Okay. Interesting. Uh, well, thank you, Vasilia. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. My dear Katia, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you this lovely night? I I am not very well. Oh, really? Why? I don't know. I I I feel some mareada. I don't know how to say. Okay, dizzy. That's dizzy. Okay. I take a, a pastilla. No? Okay, a pill. A pill. And I, I think that one. Okay. okay. Look, you can say, I feel down. You can say, I feel sick. Okay. You can also say, I feel ill. Okay. The three expressions. Give the idea that you don't feel comfortable, you are not okay. You are like, mm, not everything is quite I right. I am here in the class. That's good, that's good. Don't worry, we are going to take it easy with you. Let if I, I my, you know why. Okay, okay, I know why. Faint, <laughs> faint, faint. Is In some books, in algunos libros, usted lo podría encontrar así. Pass down. Pass down. It is the same. Yes. Pain. But you will find it like that mostly in literature. En literatura lo va a encontrar así. Okay. Well, welcome to the class, Katia. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Emily, hello. Hello, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? I'm fine. You're fine. That's cool. That's cool. Tell me, how was your day, Emily? It was so tired. Oh, really? You're tired? Yes. 
Okay, what did you do today? Uh, in the morning, I take class with my little brother and at 11 a.m. I went to the gym because at uh, 5.30 I have a class. Okay, and tell me, uh, which level is your brother, your little brother? First grade, grade. First grade? Yes. Okay, how old is he? He, ha he, he, is? he is seven years old. Seven years old, okay. Yeah. You see, there's a difference between Katya and me because you said, oh, he's in first grade and Katya smiled already at that time. <laughs> That's the difference between us. Es la diferencia entre Katya y yo. She loves working with little kids. A ella le encanta trabajar con chiquitos. Yeah. Because you said first grade and she went like smiling. And I was like, oops, it's hard. For me, it's hard. I mean, I like little kids, but it's pretty hard to work with them. Well. Thank you. Welcome to the class, Emily. Thanks. Karen, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm just great. And tell me, what about you? How was your day? My day was very busy. Really? Tell me why. With house arrangements. Oh, really? Yes. For the legs. For the what? <laughs> Uh, goteras? Leaks, leaks. Leaks, leaks. Oh, no arrangements. Yeah. <laughs> Fixing the house. Ah, okay. Fixing. And actually, they were working on the roof. Someone trabajando on the roof. Okay. Pecho. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's yeah. terrible. That's terrible. Yeah, the weather is bad. Okay, and do you have a ceiling? Tiene cielo? Uh, yes. Oh, that's even worse. Yes, ceiling. yes. Look at the chat. Ceiling. That's cielo. Okay. okay. Ceiling. Yeah, because you get stains. You get stains. Man. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's terrible. I don't like that. So you have to hire somebody. We don't to help you, or you did it, or your husband did it. Uh, no. Uh, someone else. Okay, so you hire, hire, contrataron, you hire someone, right? You hire someone. Okay, well, you have to say I, 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 I hired some. Well, Someone. that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah. But it's solved. No, in my house, the problem is that the one in charge of everything is me. In my case, the problem is that I'm in charge of everything. Okay. And it's, it's good and it's bad. It's good because I don't pay. It's bueno porque yo no pago. It's bad yeah. because I have to do everything. The ceiling, the fixing the roof, El techo. Fixing the plumbing. Fontanería. Uh, the, the painting. The electricity installation. La electricidad. Uh, the cleaning of the cistern. The repairing of the water pump. Uh, hay que reparar la bomba de agua. All, it's also me. So uh, everything, everything. Oh, if there's little things of carpentry, carpentry, hay cosas de carpintería. Again, me. So it's terrible. Well, 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 well. Thank you, Karen. Interesting. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Mr. Maradiaga, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. How was your day, mister? How are you? 
Uh, I am white. Oh, really? Yes. In my, in my motorcycle. Oh, my return, God. Return, return to the homes. Okay, you say it like this. I got wet. I got wet. Correct. Esto es me mojé. If you say I am wet, it is okay, but it is not okay. Está bien, pero no tan bien. It can have a different implication, okay? Puede implicar algo distinto. So you say I got wet, okay? I got wet. It's better. It's better. Or, well, actually, if you were riding your motorcycle, realmente si usted estaba in the motorcycle and it was raining, you don't get wet, mister. You get Talk through. Suck through. Suck. Yeah. Suck through. Suck through. Okay. Si vamos en un auto y nos cae la lluvia, we get suck through. Empapado. Okay. That's suck. the meaning. Suck through means empapado. Uh, oh, look. Listen, guys. There's an expression. There's an expression in English. I'm talking to Enrique and he's sí. telling me, oh, I got sucked to. Estoy hablando con Enrique y él me dice, oh, me empapé. Y yo le digo, oh, been there, done that. This expression, mm. been there, done that, esa es una expresión. Y quiere decir, oh, ya me ha pasado, ya sé lo que es eso. Ok. Ok. That's okay. been there, done that. Yes, I've been there, done that. Mr. Jam, that has happened to me. Well, the good thing is that you are here in the class. That's excellent. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Enrique. Let's see, Umberto. Thank you. Hello, Umberto. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. How are you? I'm just great, just great. And tell me, how was your day, mister? Um, my day is, today is a tired. Really? A long day? Really? A long day? Um, yes. Uh, on, only, only, um, on, only that this day is not where, rain, not, not rain. It's not raining in your house. Okay. It's not, it's not raining in my house. Yesterday it was uh, raining a lot. Was raining a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the good thing is that you are here in class ready. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. With some Thank of you, you, with some of you, I will talk, but at the end of the class, conversaré con el resto de ustedes. But at the end of the class, I have an, a, a different activity for us. So welcome to everybody, Elizabeth, Bill, Lilian. Okay, before we continue, I need to make an announcement. Okay? Voy con un comercial. Necesito hacer un anuncio. Guys, uh, tomorrow we finish between today. Well, actually, today we're going to finish section three. Ahora vamos a terminar con las explicaciones de section three. For tomorrow, what I, well, between today and tomorrow, entre hora y mañana. For tomorrow, I have prepared uh, activities of speaking again. Remember, mañana vamos a hacer actividad de speaking. Okay. So we are going to have conversations. It's going to be a little bit more dynamic. Va a ser un poquito más dinámico. But, and I'm sorry, I'm going to switch into Spanish for a second. Pero he estado revisando calificaciones. En el caso de algunos de nosotros, en el cuadro tengo de que algunos de los aquí presentes y hay otros de los que no están presentes. Eh, no me han trabajado sección 2 y eh, para mañana tendríamos que tener terminada sección 3 y el midterm ok ahora bien porque sure. recuerdo yes mister um, in, this, in, in this case um, I understand what uh, 
que nosotros, nosotros tendríamos que trabajar una sección por semana, entendí yo. O okay. sea, del, del día 1 al 4, pensé que era una sección, del día 5 al día 8, que es mañana, pensé que era la segunda. ¿Cómo es en realidad? Ok. Bueno, en estos cursos ustedes ya son un preintermedio. No sé si habían tomado cursos anteriores. Pues, yes. en, mi caso, en, en mi caso, este es mi segundo curso. Ok. Normalmente es así. Este, entre día 1 y día 8 se cubren secciones 1, 2 y 3 y Milter. Del día 9 al 12 16. se cubre sección 4 y del 13, 13, 14, 15 y 16 se cubre la sección 5. ¿Ok? 19. Ok. Entonces... Para mañana, las primeras tres secciones se compactan en las primeras dos semanas. ¿Ok? Ahora bien, si no hemos hecho los ejercicios, no quiere decir de que, ok, si no los logramos hacer mañana, fallecimos, ¿verdad? Tenemos tiempo. Solo que recordemos, se nos va a ir juntando un poquito más. Igual, si podemos ir avanzando poco a poco. Miren, yo les seré honesto. Eh, I'm sorry, I'm going to make a pause in the... Let's continue. Okay, guys, today, for today, we are going to have something very interesting. And remember, I get excited sometimes. If I'm going too fast, ask me to slow down. Acuérdense que me emociona. Si estoy muy rápido, ask me to slow down, okay? Me piden que vaya más lento. Okay, first part. The class is going to be like this. Today, we are going to watch two videos. The first video, conversation, as usual. The primer video, la conversación. The second video, the explanation, okay? Uh, the grammar explanation. Then I'm going to reinforce the grammar explanation with examples and conversation. Luego reforzaré la grammar explanation con ejemplos y conversación. That's for today. And I need to present just to go over the, the, the midterm like fast. Y tengo que enseñarles los ejercicios del midterm, por eso it's going to be like two, three minutes. So, for tomorrow, we are going to, I will have a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation for you. And more exercises with section three, about section three. Vamos a tener más ejercicios, speaking exercises for section three, okay? That's tomorrow. So today, take a deep breath because after the conversation is mostly explanation, okay? So let's see, we are going to go straight to the conversation right now. Just oops, I need to change the, the board, okay? Let's see. I'm sorry, guys, it's hot here. Oh, okay. The conversation, remember, this is in the platform, Inglés Corporativo platform, section three, and we are talking about 3.6. The title of the conversation is, It's Pretty Safe. Okay, let's listen to it. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Whoopsie. Let's listen to it again. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, 
but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay. Let's... Yes, I know sometimes you got problems with the screen. Que a veces eh, si la imagen es muy, chica, es muy chica, se ve un poquito borrosa. That's why I sent it to you. Por eso se las envío al grupo. To the WhatsApp group, so you can check it out. Because sometimes the, the, the sharing is not quite, quite clear. Por eso a veces se las mando porque no es muy, muy claro. And also, it depends on the broadband. It depends on the ancho de banda. And you know, internet connection this year has been Terrible. El internet ha estado terrible. My apologies. Mi disculpas. Okay, let's see. Is there any question about the conversation? You got it there. Lo tenemos ahí. Right? Uh, I'm sorry. I am going to go again to the conversation. Let's see. And oh, no. There isn't any. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, it says, how do you like your new apartment? This expression, how do you like? It means, ¿qué te parece? How do you like? How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. So it's very, very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Is there much? Much, mucho. Oh no, there isn't any. Do you remember that yesterday I told you any is for negatives and interrogatives. There isn't any, ninguno. I live on the fifth floor. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. Look, a lot is the same as uh, a lot es lo mismo que decir much, much. Okay, a lot and much is the same. A lot. In fact, de hecho. There is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. There aren't many, no hay muchos. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. Hold on. Espera. Hold on. That's, that means espera, but when you are in a phone call, okay? Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll, ca I'll call you back later. Let's listen to it again, please. Town, so it's very convenient. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Town, so it's very place just This time we'll study how many and how many. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Let's see. You ready for practicing? Yes, let's do it. 
This is a long one, so you will have four minutes. Este es largo. You will have four minutes for the practice, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let me just create the groups pretty fast. Okay. Please, guys, jump in. Let's do it. I live, I, ¿cómo se pronuncia? I live, I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? Uh, a lot later. Okay, now I start and you and continue. Me. Yes, okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it, it's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it is just pretty safe. Hold, hold on, that's my car alarm. <laughs> I call you back later. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> safe, but they stole the car. Ah, okay. Yes. yes. Dicen que es muy seguro, oh. pero, but the car alarm was like. <laughs> yes. I can alarm. Okay. Practice again. Okay. You are sir. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. So it is. Is there much crime? No. Oh, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Call, call. I'll call you back. Okay. And practice uh, Katya and me. Okay. Okay, I am Nick. Uh, how do you like your new apartment? <laughs> Can you see the conversation? Do you start? You start. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ese? Convenient. 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 Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There isn't. Okay. Um, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. 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 Okay. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh, no. There, is, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot, in fact, 
there are excellent Korean places around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. All on that, my car alarm. I will call your back later. Call. Call. I'll call. I'll call, call you back later. Okay. I'll call you back later. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let me see who's gonna be first. Uh, it's gonna be Basilia and Mr. Oscar Aguilar. Basilia, you start. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Convenient. That, convenient. Convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live in the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korea place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, change my car alarm. Okay. I'll call you back later. Later, later. later. Remember. See you later, later? Yeah, it's the same, later. See you later. <laughs> Te veo luego. I'll call you back later. Te regreso la llamada. Okay, now let's see. Mario Santiago and Humberto. Mario, you start. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I call you back. I I'll call you back later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry for the first message. Perdón para el primer mensaje. It wasn't for all of you. No era para todos ustedes. Just give me a second because I need to point out something. Solo denme un segundo que necesito mencionar algo. Ok, perfect. Eh, Humberto, Korean, Korean. Ok, remember, Korean. Korean. Perfect, excellent, thank you. Ok, let's see, next, Reinaldo and Emily. Reinaldo, you will start. Okay. okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very common. Convenient. Convenient. Down. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There isn't any. I live in the fifth floor. How many restaurants? Are there near, near your place? 
a lot. But there's an excellent Korean like just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much time? It's pretty safe. Hold on. Let's make car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, perfect. Emily, I'll call you. Repeat with me. I'll call you. I'll call you. I'll call you back. I, I'll call you back. Okay, now don't look to the to the camera. Look at me. I'll call you back later. I, I call you back later. Okay, look at me again. Later. Later. Back later. Back later. You back later. You back later. Okay, call you back later. Call you back later. I'll call you back later. I'll call you back later. Perfect, excellent. Thank you. Now let's see, Katia, please. You are going to work with Herlin. Katia, you start. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there in the place? Hello, in fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, this is pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I called you back later. Perfect. Excellent, guys. Now, Miss Lillian Granillo and Karen, please. Lillian, you start. How do you like your new apartment? I, I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there most nice? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there new your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there are many parking garages, but I usually um, find a place on the street. Is there much cream? Creamy? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, perfect, perfect. Lillian, apartment. Apartment. apartment near 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 crime crime Karen convenient convenient just around just around perfect thank you very much now Elizabeth and Carlos Elizabeth you start yes teacher how do you like your apartment? I love it. It is downtown. So it's very common. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants? Are there near you place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? 
Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much cream? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, perfect. Very well done, guys. Just Elizabeth, remember, noise. 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 Rest, restaurants. 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 Okay, look. Look at me, Elizabeth. It's like this. Restaurants. Restaurants. Okay? We hit the word. Restaurants. Restaurants. Perfect. Crime. 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 Excellent. Crime. Carlos. Downtown. 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 Convenient. 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 Perfect. Garages. Convenient. Garages. Garages. Remember, garage, singular. Garages, plural. Perfect, Carlos. Thank you very much. Now, Enrique. Hello, Enrique. Let's see who's going to help you. Okay, Enrique. Emily wants to help you. Hi. Okay, just let me check something. Okay, Enrique, you will start. Emily, you are the second, okay? Okay. Uh, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Perfect, Thank Emily. Thank you very much. Now, Enrique, many. Mm -hmm. Many. Yes. Many. many. And what about? Many and very well. What about? What about? Remember, you make just one song. Esas dos palabras las hacemos un solo sonido. What about? What about? What about? What about? Like that. Perfect. Okay. What? Excellent. What about? Thank you, guys. Very well done. Very well done. Okay, I need to ask you something. Necesito preguntarles algo. Uh, do you want to continue practicing the conversations from the platform? ¿Les parece bien si seguimos practicando las conversaciones de la plataforma? Estamos a la mitad del curso. So yes. If, if you like this exercise, si les parece yes, bien. Yes, I ejercicio. love it. Yes, I love it. Perfect, excellent. Very good. Okay, now we are going to go watch the explanation, okay? Let me see. It's right here. Okay, now we are going to go to the quantifiers. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers, how many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? 
There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Okay, I want to explain something. How much crime is there? Right here. Okay. Listen, we have count nouns. Okay, before we move on. Remember, count nouns are the things that we can count. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I don't know why my camera doesn't activate. Oh, right. Okay, count nouns. That's simple, no? Things we can count. Cosas que podemos contar. Okay? Like, uh, like cell phone, students. Okay, uh, cups, tasas, glasses, vasos, non count nouns, los incontables. Okay, remember, with those ones is different because, as the name says, we cannot count them. No las contamos. Things like bread, como pan, por ejemplo, you do not count them. Like uh, water, como agua, okay. Remember, you ask for a glass of water. Usted lo mide porque pide un vaso de agua. Half a liter, medio litro. One liter, one barrel. Okay? You are measuring them. Los está midiendo. Now, what am I mentioning this? ¿Por qué menciono esto? Let's look again. Here we have, look, a few. Unos cuantos. But here we have a little, un poco. You see? The rest of them, if you look, they are used either way. Los otros se usan igual. You see? A lot, a lot. Many, oh, and also many and much, they are different. But any, any. None, none. Now, many is used for countable. Okay? Many. Muchos. Much. Mucho. Now, in that case, remember, that little s makes a big difference. Esa pequeñita s hace una gran diferencia, right? ¿Qué tanta agua, eh, qué tanta lluvia cayó? Mucha. Right? Very much. It's uncountable. No es contable. That's why you say very much okay now let's see uh, tell me Karen how many how many leaks did you have in your roof cuantas goteras tenia very much okay many were there many eran muchas yes did you count them? ¿Las contaron? Uh, no. But you know that, pero usted sabe that you can, you could have done it, que podrían haberlas contado. Right? Okay. Yes. It was possible. So if it is possible to count them, they are countable. So there were many. Okay? Okay. They were not much. They were many. Or you can say a lot. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Tell me, Katia, uh, do you have many students in your school? Katia. No. Mm -hmm. I have... A few or a little? A few. Okay. A few students. A few stu students. She's telling me unos pocos, right? Oh, yes, your school is a special school, right? Yes. Yes, yes. 
thank you. So if you hear, she said, oh, there's a few. Now, algo interesante. Se lo voy a explicar en español. Cuando hablamos de los incontables, siempre nos vamos con el singular. ¿Ok? There's, there's a few. And tell me, Oscar, is there a lot of milk in your fridge? Is what? there a lot of milk, leche, in your fridge, refrigerator? Ah, uh, no, no much. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's no, a little. Si no tengo, ¿cómo es, teacher? Oh, there's none. Ah, there is none. There's okay. None. Fridge. Fridge is short for refrigerator. Okay. Okay, fridge. fridge. Uh -huh. no there's none there's none there is none in my ref in, in my fridge yes okay yeah well that happens some people don't like milk okay no, i don't like milk tell me uh, emily what about you how much milk do you drink a lot a little a little. A little, okay. Tell me, how many glasses of milk do you drink a day? One. one. I just drink one. I just drink one. Okay. Glass. Now, how many, how much? Do you hear those questions? He está haciendo esas dos preguntas, ¿verdad? How many? ¿Cuántos? How much? Cuánto o cuánta. ¿Ok? ¿De understand that? ¿Sí me estoy explicando? I mean, in this case I did it the other way. I did it backwards. Aquí lo hice al revés. Primero lo apliqué, me lo usamos, lo contestaron, and then I pointed out. Y ahora se los señalo. Remember, how many, cuántos is used for asking for countable. Okay. How much is used for uncountable? Okay, let's see. Basilia, tell me, how much bread does your family eat? How much bread? Uh, a little. A little? Okay. Yeah. Or, or you can also say, no much. No much, no much bread. Okay, tell me. How much do you buy? How much bread do you buy a day? Oh, one quarter? One quarter, quarter. One quarter. Okay, one quarter. Remember, how much is also used for prices. And how Price. much también usamos para los precios. Okay? Okay, up to this moment. Hasta este instante. Is there any question? Yes, Mario. Mario, activate your microphone. Okay. okay. Uh, I have a question. Uh, for me, confirmation. How much is uh, used for uncountable Perfect. things? Perfect. How Prices. Yes. Prices uh, for things? Yeah, for like, example. Hey, how much are your uh, health phones? ¿Cuánto le costaron oh. sus audífonos? How much are uh, How much? Ah, okay. For how much? Uh, 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 for, uh, for me, uh, for uh, how much is for, uh, how much is uncountable and how many countable, but the use how much and how many is for price or things? How much is for prices? Okay. All the time. Uh, so you use how much for uncountable and prices. All right. All right. How, many, how many for countable? Okay. How many countable? And for example, 
uh, how many how many rulers or how many books in my backpack, for example? Yes, it's exactly. correct. Perfect. No, cor no correct is how much book, for example. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. No problem. Don't worry, Mario. Tomorrow we are going to make a lot of exercises about this. Okay. No se preocupen. Mañana vamos a hacer ejercicios and conversations. Okay. I am going to be having conversations with you, applying those. Yo voy a tener conversaciones con ustedes aplicando eso. So don't worry. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay. I will like go further on. So please be in the class tomorrow. Así que por favor en la clase mañana. Believe me, it's awesome. You are the groups who has gotten this topic quite fast. Este grupo de los que más rápido me han comprendido este tema. It's a little bit confusing. For some students has been a little bit confusing. Para algunos ha sido un poco confuso. Okay, but I need to share with you just a little something. Necesito solo mostrarles algo. Okay, let's see here. There's a lot of street crime. Okay, guys. Remember, we are in the platform here. Supposedly, you have done this exercise and let's see. 3.4 is a knowledge check. 3.9 and 3.11. After you do 3.11, the word in one neighborhood, you go to the midterm, okay? After this, you get the midterm. Then you have a listening. Instructions. Listen to the conversation. Listen, Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. Remember, just checking out, okay? That's the first part. When you finish, remember you submit, okay? Then you got, oops, I'm sorry, I'm watching it as fast. Got to be as learner, okay? Because it's different for you. Then we have, okay, let's see, yes, it changes. Then we have completing the conversations. Okay, here, remember guys, Complete the following conversations. You need to finish up the WH question words according to the response given. You can choose among long, good, often, or well, like how long, how good, how well, okay? When you finish, you get the second part. Complete the conversation. Choose the correct past form of the verb, of the verb given in parentheses. So, did you stay? You got two options, okay? What did you? Again, you got two options. Remember, what you need is the past form. So this is easy, cheesy. Then you have this section. Again, choose the correct answer. Excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Yes, there is. There's and you say anyone or some. Okay. This exercise, we did it yesterday. Do you remember? Esto lo hicimos ayer en clase. Then you write, then you have exercise D. Rewrite the scrambled sentences. Okay. So you have to put the words in order here. Watch out the capitals, the point. Aquí fijémonos en las capitals, eh, mayúsculas, el punto. Eh, the apostrophe is a little bit troublesome in some computers. And then you have to do the reading. So you have to read Ruth's letter and then check for true statements, okay? You have to check, listen, true statements. So she walks down Telegraph Avenue every day after class. Well, you come here and you check it, okay? If it's true, you check true or you check false. Okay, and then at the end, remember, at the end of each section, you submit. Okay, if you have any question with the exercises, you can contact me, okay? Pueden contactarme. And remember, if you want, you can take it one more time again. Ese creo que también lo pueden tomar de nuevo, if you're not sure about something. So, please, any question, let me know. Cualquier duda, avísenme. Okay, guys. 
remember, tomorrow we are going to practice, and I'm sorry, but we didn't do it today, but for tomorrow, para mañana, I didn't forget about the homework. No se me olvidó la tarea. We are going to give it tomorrow, okay? Me la dan mañana. Okay, the sentence where you are going to tell me about the places. Tomorrow we are going to do an activity related to it. Mañana vamos a hacer una actividad con ello, okay? Thank you very much, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Bye. teacher. Bye. Get, Get, teacher. Good night. Get you better, tomorrow. Katia. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye, Rinaldo. Bye, Humberto. Bye, Oscar, Lillian, Karen, Rachel, Elizabeth. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night, teacher. Thank you.